One of the powerful things about the SQL language is its rich querying capabilities. Combining and filtering data from different tables is where SQL sets itself apart from many NoSQL solutions. In SQL, queries can be combined and nested to create even more powerful operations. All of the ways that these queries can be combined is a huge topic, too big for a single video. However, all of those more complex queries start from the foundation of a basic select statement. And that is something we can cover in a reasonable amount of time. In its most basic form, a select statement simply finds the records in the table and returns them. It consists of the select command, a list of columns to return, and a table name. The list of columns consists of a comma-separated set of names. When the select statement is executed, the database will retrieve the appropriate data and return it. It returns only the data in the specified columns and only in the order that they were requested. This allows the client to customize what the response will look like. Each request can include a different set of columns in a different order. Often, when querying a table, we are looking for all of the columns rather than just a subset. We could manually list every column we are interested in, but that can be time consuming and potentially brittle. If someone were to add a new column without us knowing, our query would fail to find it. Instead, if we want to request all of the columns, we use the asterisk wildcard. It indicates to the select statement to return every column in the table without having to manually specify them. It can be tempting to always return all of the columns and filter out what you don't care about in your application code. For a small data set, that might be fine. However, as your data grows, it can become problematic. All of the data from those columns has to be loaded into memory and then sent over the network. This takes up resources that might be better used for other tasks. By telling the database to limit the set of columns to return, we free up those resources. That can make the select statement more performant, but it can also have an impact on other operations. As a best practice, only return the columns that you are interested in.